y'all. It's Melanie. Mel's. <laughs> Spelled M-E-L-Z. <laughs> that is what some of my yardy friends call me and I like it. Anyway, welcome to Stitch to My Lou. This is an update video of some of my new acquisitions and a couple of makes. I think I might spread this up into two videos only because um, it could get kind of lengthy and we all know that I can get kind of chatty. <laughs> so <laughs> first, let's see, first up I will show you, I'm just gonna show you a few of these. Um, oh gosh, I think it's Lori from Crojo Crochet is having a, um, a, a, a drive, I guess is what I would call it, where she's collecting hugs for happiness um, for Kentucky, Kentucky Appalachian Ministries, I think is how she, what it's called. And, um, well, you know, I live in Kentucky. I don't live in Appalachia, but um, that's a cause that I care about. My son goes to a, uh, a youth group mission trip uh, in Appalachia in the summers. And it's important to me, and I love making people smile. Um, and so these little hugs for happiness, I've made, oh gosh, I've made about a dozen of them, I say. And, well, and I've not put them together yet, but here is what they look like. It's a little, well, and they're gonna get, <laughs> I gotta glue them together. So this is a whip, I guess then, I would say. Um, so this is the little arms holding the little heart, and then I'm gonna glue some um, squiggly eyes. So I'm not gonna show all these, but I made them in a bunch of different colors with, um, here's a, a purple, blue, mm, um, here's a, a green one I've gotta sew together. Uh, I made some pink heart, or light, or medium pink, light pink uh, and red hearts. So those are gonna get put together. Whew, getting an energy surge. Um, those are gonna get put together very soon and sent off to Lori. I hope to be able to make some more. I think that this would be good for wings for this summer when Rose does um, uh, I think she's calling for like fidgets and um, the wiggle worms or the hmm, worry worms. And uh, I'm sure she's going to get a ton of those things. I want to know if these would be appropriate also. So I'm hoping that that is the case. Next up, I got some happy mail. Oh, I'm so excited. From, um, I purchased from... Melissa at Crochet and Agreement. Hi, Melissa. I got your package today. I opened it. I've not looked at the yarn yet. I did open up. There was a little lovely card saying thank you for the order. And then her business card, which came with this. Oh, I am so backward when it comes to this camera. There you go. I'm using an iPad. So it's got a lovely little um, stitch marker and I believe it says made with love I can't see it all too well but her little card and oh, it's just so cute and Melissa I don't know how you knew <laughs> but she sent me this tea it's yogi tea and I, I don't I can't tell if there's an issue with um, it I can't tell if it's blurry or not but this is bedtime um, Bedtime caramel decaf tea. And I love caramel. Oh, I could care less about chocolate. It does nothing for me. But caramel, that's my love language. <laughs> it's so good. And um, so I can't wait to have this. I may wait and have it on my birthday. My birthday is Monday. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, let's get into the yarn. I ordered, um, I think it's called like, Petra's, oh gosh, what was it? I don't remember what it's called, y'all. Oh my goodness. And I want you to know that when I opened this package, it smelled so good. So good. 
um, I don't know what you use on it, Melissa, but mm, 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 did it smell good. Okay. Oh, mm, look at this yumminess, y'all. Look at that. She even caked it up for me. It came with two of these. Look at that. I wonder what I could do with two of these. I could, I mean, I definitely could make um, a small shawl, like the, um, the Marley Bird one ball shawl. I, and that's the thing with, with, um, hand dyed yarn. I never really know how much to get. Um, I think this will give me a decent size shawl. So that is, um, was Petra's line and my husband just came in. Okay. This, I don't remember what line this is from, but it is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. So this is a, a fade. I don't know if I can hold all of this up, but I, I, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, you guys. All right. There's no way I can hold this all up. It starts here. It, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a very, very pale blue. It goes into a little bit of a, see to me, this has like a a hint of turquoise, but on the on the camera, I don't know if you see it. Then it goes into this blue. Uh, you all, oh, now it goes into this. I love, cobalt blue is one of my favorite colors. Oh, oh. And then, this. Oh, I love it. I love it, Melissa. You did an amazing job amazing i cannot wait i do not know what i'm going to do with this but i might make me a big nice big shawl or something i don't know i i want to try <laughs> i get greedy because i'm like i gotta make this go as far as possible and i don't know what i can do so if y'all have any suggestions on how to make this yarn last you know as it, it go as far as it can because I just love it and I cannot wait to see what this is gonna look like. I need this in purple and red and maybe orange and yellow. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> yeah, I need this in more colors. Oh, this is just beautiful. You've done a fantastic job. Um, Mm, this smells like uh, there's a Scentsy wax bar that I love. And I think it's called like a clothesline, maybe, that smells a lot like this. I don't know what you use, but it smells very similar to that. And it, oh, I love it. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to stop there for now because I have some other things to share. Um, but probably I'll wait for another video because I've got, well, you know what? One of them I can show you right now, actually. It is another make that I made a long time ago. I told y'all about this. This is a plaid baby blanket that I made a long time ago, but here's the problem. I, when I was making it, I was in a, an area that wasn't really well lit. So I had trouble between white and off-white <laughs> so I, but I do love the blanket it's just I can't give it as a gift now because half of it's white and half of it's off-white and I don't know if you'll be able to tell in here I just got it in the sunlight and I was like oh my word that is not all white but this is a pattern from uh, Tina she does some beautiful mosaics. And I saw this, it's called the Cori, C-O-R-R-I-E. And I think it is a similar, I think it's an Icelandic word that is similar to huga in Danish. Um, so essentially, and here's the back of it, it, you just get stripes on the back. You're carrying 
So I'm using three colors in here, uh, a medium pink, a light pink, and what was supposed to be white. Um, and you're carrying yarn and you're doing single crochets and double crochets and I worked from a chart. And it was challenging um, and I had to pay attention because you can mess up pretty easily if you get um, off track. But, and then um, this, the, what is this thing called? I know y'all are probably like me. And if somebody's struggling with something, I'm like, it's, 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 it, you know, it's border, border. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> y'all are probably sitting there going, it's border, it's border. That's the word you're looking for. Anyway, so this is the border and sandwich inside. So on the very last row, you do, I want to say it's like a, maybe it's a slip stitch. And then you're, crocheting on both sides of the slip stitch and you're sandwiching all your short yarn ends on the sides because on the sides so yeah you're you're cutting your yarn every row no joke I mean it it is not for the faint at heart uh, <laughs> it's a it is a um it is it, I, I just love this I love this blanket but because half of it is off-white and half of it's white. I don't know what to do with it now. Um, so that that bothers me. You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to do two videos. I'm just going to make this all in one video because hopefully um, it's not getting too long. I just have um, some yarn to show you that I ordered forever ago that just finally came in. And it is uh, from Lion Brand, their clearance. So I ordered six of these, um, what is this called? Comfy Cotton. Oh, I don't remember what the name of it was. Shoot, let me get my magnifier because I can't see it. Um, oh, well, I guess I should show it to you. Here's the color. And probably the name is right there, but I can't read it without my magnifier. I can find it on my messy, messy desk. I've got too much stuff up here. Let's see here. Uh, Y'all might have seen it before I did. I don't know. Um, and Kayla, you always talk about not being able to see and honey. Oh, this is called Ocean Breeze. There you go. Ocean Breeze. There it is. So, um, I think this is a number four um, or three. Feels like a three. Well, now I'm curious. Is it a three or a four? Um, it's a three. So I have used this before. I made a really, um, was that Ferris wheel or comfy cotton? I don't remember. I made a blanket, but I'm thinking with six of these, now me being a plus size woman, I need more to make um, something for myself. So I was thinking about doing like, um, I don't know, with six, I don't know. It's too much for obviously for a shawl, not enough for a blanket. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, so I've got six of those. This is, I'm kind of disappointed about this one, honestly, because this is True Boo. It's in the colorway. Hang on, got to get the trusty magnifier out again. Um, oh, Lord, I can barely read this even with the magnifier. Oh, there it is. Marigold. It's marigold. And I know, Rel, if you're watching, this is your color. It, it, the, hang on, let me turn my lamp off. Because it's not going to let it show true. So there it is. This is that kind of, um, mustardy. It's not really mustard. It's a bright mustard. It kind of looks like the color of the, um, the mustard bottle that you, I mean, like, you know, a French's mustard, I think is, is that right? So anyway, I got a bunch of that thinking it was going to be more, I don't know what I was thinking. Cause I, I really was hoping that it would be lighter. I was thinking baby blanket, but now I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I love this. This is um, Lion Brand Heartland Thick and Quick. And it's the color Redwood. I just think that's beautiful. 
beautiful. I've made some luminate hats like that one up there with this, and it's just so pretty, y'all. I really love it. And then, let's see, that's more redwood. Did I get that many of that? I guess I did. Oh, goodness. Um, sorry. And then lastly, I don't. I think I only got three of this one. Sorry for the crinkling. This is um, Hometown USA, or well, it's now it's just called Hometown, I think. Um, did they change it? Well, fuck. Yeah, I don't think it has a USA on it, but anyway, it's pumpkin. Um, I'm not getting good lighting. There you go. That's probably I'm trying to get it in the light. I've got a light overhead, and then I have a lamp uh, behind the iPad, and. It's just not the greatest. And then I've got a window over here. So anyway, I'm trying to, there you go. That's a good lighting right there. Um, so I'm thinking a big button cowl, Rel. <laughs> I love your big button cowl. That's a pattern I use a lot. Um, hats, you know, they always give you more yardage with these um, solid colors. So I'm gonna, ah! I just dropped it. Okay. So I'll be making some hats. Um, I think I'm going to donate to the homeless um, this fall because, I don't know, it's just something I care about. Um, and I guess that's all I really have right now. I've been on here long enough, so I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you guys are well. I hope that uh, for those of you who celebrate Easter or Good Friday, I hope all of that is going well for you and that you enjoy your holiday. Um, and I will be back another day. So I did want to say before I go, if you've made it this far, um, I am going to be posting some videos about Scentsy on here because I have some friends who are not on Facebook. I usually post those on Facebook. And um, I have friends that are not on Facebook who would like to see the videos of the unboxings and all that. So I am going to post it on here. However, that is not the primary um, focus of this channel. So if you don't want to watch, just, just don't watch those. Um, and that's totally fine. Um, because I, I recognize you're here for crochet. And I hope that you will um, just pardon me for those. You know, they're not going to be every day. But there will be some. Um, if you want to watch them, great. If you don't, that's okay too. So anyway, um, I am, I, I, I can't remember if I said this before or not. I'm looking for somebody to help me with a pattern for a palm tree, uh, what are they, cuddler. You know, the, the two pieces that are single crocheted together. I, I have found some patterns, but nothing that is really jumping out to me that I love. So I'm hoping somebody might be interested in helping me with that. Also, there's someone I'm gonna reach out to about doing a tutorial on the Sabella shawl behind me um, because at least one of you has asked for a tutorial and um, I'm just, you know, with my vision and then I don't have the proper setup to do a tut tutorial. Um, now, my husband did say, he was very, very sweet, he did say that he would help me, but he would have to stand over me and and record my hands, and and then I hold my, my crochet pretty close because, again, my vision. So, I just feel like there are people who do tutorials much better than that. So, I'm going to um, reach out to someone about doing a tutorial for me. So, hopefully, that'll come out soon. Um and what else? I guess that's about it. It seems like there's something else I wanted to share with you guys, and I can't remember now what it was. So anyway, um, oh, oh, yes. Um, let's see. So both Tap Mama and the Beg Brigade, Amanda, and Crystal's, Crystal's Crochet Cubbyhole, I believe they're both trying to reach 500 to get their community tabs, I believe. I'm not 100% sure if I'm saying that right. I know one of them is, but I think they both are. So anyway, if you watch my channel and you haven't found them yet, please go check them out because they are really wonderful women. Um, just the sweetest personalities. 
beautiful work. Um, so definitely go check them out. Um, and I guess that's it. So I've kept y'all long enough. Y'all have a great weekend and I will talk to you soon. Bye.